Grand Rising family. I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all times, family. Yes, yes, yes. Freedom of North Carolina is coming, family. Y'all be on the lookout. It is coming soon, very soon. October the 9th, we will be having our first premiere of the movie, family. Listen, family, the market has done what I told y'all the market was going to do. What did I tell you? I told y'all on the month of April, the market goes on fire with regards to the month of April. And look what has been happening with the market. Today, we have a little slight minor pullback, but it's not a major pullback, just a minor slight pullback going on today. But other than that, everything is going up. Doge is on fire. Doge look like it's on its way to 50 cent family. Those look like it's on its way to 50 cent and Bitcoin Cash is eyeing $1,000. I told y'all when Bitcoin Cash go, it goes. It's eyeing $1,000, family, right? With that being said, listen, family, I'm still offering my advanced crypto class uh, for anybody that want to join. Listen, you'll send me e an email at maxcryptonews at gmail.com or you email me at bmac252.sf at gmail.com and I will get you started to show you how to make money on this market. Family. Also, family, if you like the content and you like what you've been seeing, hit the thumb up this button. Hit that notification bell share the video and leave a comment and without with that with, without further ado we about to head right in so let me share my screen let me go straight to this market let me refresh this thing we're gonna jump right into this market and then i'm gonna collect some dibs because i'm like i like to collect my dibs from time to time right so the market cap is two billion one hundred and eighty two I mean, two, two trillion, one hundred eighty-two billion dollars. Let me sit on that. We got Bitcoin at fifty thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty-seven cent on a little minor pullback, family. Now, what happened is, uh, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna show y'all why it's pulled back. Um. Um, let me see how much was moved. Uh, so... All right, this is what's going on, family. I, um, all right, this is why the price of Bitcoin went down, y'all. All right, the bit finance hacker moves around 7.5 billion worth of stolen Bitcoin. That was a at Miss Coinbase listing. So when Coinbase was listening their um coin on on the Nasdaq, these hackers moved 7.5 billion worth of stolen Bitcoin. Now the Bitcoin that they have. They're not going to be able to sell the Bitcoin. They're not going to be able to put it on no exchange. Ain't nobody going to take it on no exchange and actually allow them to cash the Bitcoin out. So what these hackers can do, though, is they have the opportunity to manipulate the market, family. And this is what go on from time to time. They will move all these, this big amount of Bitcoin just to manipulate the market. And it said, look, it just was moved for the first time in five years. This isn't the first time that whales have moved them during a market rally to cause panic and likely cash in a short, right? So this is what's going on. They moved 
these stolen Bitcoins, probably because they knew it was going to trigger the price of Bitcoin to come down and short it. Now, this is the thing about some of these big hacks. It make me wonder, was governments involved in hacking? And now they're trying to manipulate the market a little bit, right? But this is part of the reason why uh, Bitcoin is going down, family. Uh, just wanted to give y'all a little um, context to why it's going on. Everybody will tell you that the price of Bitcoin is going down. And then they, well, why is it going down? I don't really know. Well, that's part of the reason why Bitcoin is going down right now, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to put it up in the chart. Then we're going to look at the chart. We ain't going to stay on the chart too long. Um, we ain't going to be here too long. But we can see it, it, it took effect. It took effect. The first time they moved it, Coinbase got listed on the 14th. And you can see, it, after it got listed, you see the price of Bitcoin went down some, but it kind of like recovered. But now that the news is out, it really went down. That's why I was telling y'all to take profit, man. I told y'all to take profit. I was like, yo, I'm taking profit. I said, <laughs> I told y'all you take profit. You, you, what you do, you sell the hype, meaning that Coinbase was going to get listed and it was making all the, everything go up. You sell this. And I told y'all, just like when a happen happens, when after once the hype up to the half, the price is going up. But once that happen happens, the price will just start going down. So you look, I looked at what was going on with coin being listed on NASDAQ and said, this is the same thing that's happening. Let me take some profit. So now I can buy in when Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I don't know. I mean, right now, let me blow this up, man. All right. So let's look at the chart. Let's, let's, let's bring some context. Right. Oh yeah. We got close to 65,000 now. Um, one of my students I talked to and I told him what happened That's what I done at 65,000. I told him what I did. And, and if he, Listen, he'll see I made a good decision, right? And I told him what I'm waiting for it to get down to jump back in, right? And it looked like it's playing itself out. But you got this um 290-day moving average right here. Now, this is where this is support here. Now, I hope we don't get here. Now, if we get here, maybe we'll get here like here. When it's at least sixty thousand, so we need we need some good news now. We may come down and touch it, y'all. Do not be surprised if Bitcoin come down here and, and touch this. That's that's. But this is the movement that we better not get down here and touch now. We don't want to touch that one. That one, that one right there is going to make it a bad day, family. Right. So let me get out of this because I don't want to be in the charts too long. I'm not really trying to pull it up. So I just want y'all to see. Um, that's what's going on, right? So, Ethereum at $2,379. Ethereum was close to $2,500. Or it did get to $2,500. Binance coin at $521. Pulling back, pulling back a little bit. Um, expected. XLP at a dollar fifty nine cent, pulling back. You know, after these big runs, they have these little small pullbacks, right? Um, ADA at a dollar forty cent, pulling back a little bit. Poker died at forty one dollars and seventy six cent. Um, looking good, but look at those coins. Those coin, listen, those about to make me a believer. The problem is I never invested in those. I never did. That's the problem. But boy, Doge is looking good up 110% at 27 cents. 
It has busted through the top 10 at top 8. Doge looks like it may want to go to 50 cents, y'all. You still may be able to double your money if you get in on Doge right now. But I'm not telling now. This is not financial advice. None of this is financial advice. I'm just documenting my journey, right, in this crypto market. But Doge is looking good. Uniswap at thirty six dollars and twenty four cents. Litecoin two hundred seventy eight dollars. Chainlink at forty dollars and fifty four cents. Bitcoin Cash uh, is under nine hundred. It's $898. Bitcoin Cash is over $900, y'all. Let's tell y'all. I told y'all Bitcoin Cash runs now. I hope y'all been paying attention. If you, look, it got up to $964. Nine, it got up to $964. It's doing a minor pullback. Because everything else is pulling back. Bitcoin Cash is a scary mover, y'all. You see how it done snuck up to almost a thousand. I'm like, before this pullback, it, it basically has snuck up to a thousand dollars right up under people's nose. And I'm the one telling y'all about it. Ain't nobody else talking about Bitcoin Cash. It moves and it ain't done. Don't worry. Wait till the weekend come in. Today Friday. We having a pullback. Let's see how this week ends, right? We need to see how this week candle ends. That's what I should have been looking at, but we'll look at that over the weekend. We got Stella at 60 cent. Holding on. Stella still holding on. I ain't gave up on my Stella yet, but I've been paying profits. I ain't gave up, right? Theta, $13.15. Filecoin, $184.18. Um, v chain at 17 cent, Tron at um 14 cent, and EOS at seven dollars and fifty cent. That right out the top 20 family. Um, well, let's take it to some news before we go to news family. Listen, now y'all know I've been promoting this pie network. Hey, y'all want to come and get y'all a piece of this pie? Use Max. Matter of fact, we're gonna play it today. Y'all come on and get some of this pie, family. The future of money is evolving rapidly, and no one wants to be left behind. Mining Bitcoin is time and energy intensive, requires extensive physical resources, and advanced technical knowledge. Introducing Pi, the first and only digital currency you can mine on your phone. That's big. This novel approach, developed by Stanford PhDs, allows you to mine cryptocurrency on your phone by leveraging your existing social connections with no cost and no battery drain. Have a phone? You've got Pi. It's time to join the revolution. Download Pi today for Apple or Android and get your piece of the Pi. Yeah, fam, so it's a link in the description. The future of money is evolving rapidly. It's a link in the description. Um, you can download this and you can mine pie. Make sure you put Max Crypto News and you can mine pie with the rest of us and get this free pie family. All right, now let's go to a little bit of news. We're not going to focus on too much news. We're going to focus on one. That's Brian Brooks. I told y'all, Brian Brooks is somebody that we need to be paying attention to because Brian Brooks is all about crypto. He all about this technology and he's out here defending crypto. You know, he was in the high position. I'm going to play this um, and then we're going to go collect some dibs, y'all. We're going to go collect some, get some dib money and get some more CNS, right? <laughs> or I might just, I want to go and get the amount of CNS I want. So let me play this. Brian Brooks defends fintech charter to house financial services committee. 
Brian Brooks has defended the fintech banking charter introduced while he served as the acting comptroller of the currency after congressional Democrats took aim at the license on Thursday. Brian appeared as a witness before the House Financial Services Committee's Subcommittee on Consumer Protection and Financial Institutions at an April 15 hearing titled, Banking Innovation or Regulatory Evasion? Exploring Trends in Financial Institution Charters. The fintech charter was introduced by the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, or OCC, and overseen by Brooks in 2020, allowing financial technology firms including cryptocurrency companies to offer lending and payment products without being overseen by state banking regulators, FDIC insurance, or deposits from customers. Californian representative and chairwoman of the House Financial Services Committee, Maxine Waters, claimed that banks and state regulators have complained about the lack of regulatory scrutiny faced by fintech firms licensed under the charter. State regulators, community banks and credit unions have raised alarms about how new entities, including big tech firms, are receiving unconventional bank charters and offering bank products and services while evading regulations most banks, including community banks, must comply with. Waters characterized the OCC of having overstepped its authority, accusing the office of pretending that laws signed by Abraham Lincoln were intended to create charters for fintech or cryptocurrency. However, Brooks told the committee the charter had bolstered regulatory oversight of the fintech and crypto industries, arguing their activities would otherwise continue outside of regulators' view. Brooks described the charter as empowering firms that provide consumers with better alternatives to traditional banks on the one hand and strip mall financiers, like payday lenders, on the other. Other Democrats raised concerns that Bitcoin is primarily a vehicle for criminal syndicates, with California's Brad Sherman claiming the crypto asset is largely used by tax evaders and narco-terrorists. Texas's Al Green also advanced what he said were his constituents' concerns regarding the prevalence of Ponzi schemes in the crypto sector. Brooks dismissed these worries, arguing that exclusionary regulations could hinder the United States' technological dynamism and that heavy-handed legislation could undermine U.S. soft power in the emerging digital economy. We're building a second internet here, it's not built for terrorist financing, it's built to allow us to have a truly decentralized internet. If you believe that America's soft power in the world has a lot to do with the fact that we control ICANN and the internet protocol, I think you would feel similarly about these new protocols. So family, Brian Brooks is out here fighting to keep the crypto industry up and running. And the OCC and some of the charters that they allow some of these FinTech companies to get without being banks. Now, what's interesting about this is that Maxine Waters is the one raising all the, well, they mention her name a lot in this article. So it seems like she is one of the ones that's heading up this 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 narrative that cryptocurrency is only for people that want to evade taxes, people that don't basically criminals. That's basically what they're basically trying to say. Only criminals use cryptocurrencies. But we all know that all any transactions being done criminally is done by the using the dollar. But they just, it's like, it's what I told y'all a couple um, episodes ago. Old money don't want to get out of the way of new money. The old power or the old banking conglomerate or some people call them the the Illuminati, whatever all these different names they want to call them. I don't care. They not, they don't want to let go. The banking system don't want to let go of that power. And they see this FinTech charters as com competition. And they don't want competition because the old way of doing things would get wiped out by this new way. So they have to come up with these false narratives that is just used by criminals. And we know this, but I hope the Democrats do not roll back a lot of these and, and come out with some heavy-handed crypto regulations because it's going to stifle um, it's going to stifle business and um, 
innovative um, tech in the United States, it's going to stifle it. And it's going to roll us back a little bit, man. I hope they understand what's going on. But I'm going to get off that. All right, so family, what else I want? Oh, it's time to go collect some deals. Yeah, we're going to collect some deals real fast. So let me um do something. Let me go ahead and collect me some dibs. Collect me some dibby dibs real fast. All right, so bankroll flow. Let me refresh you. Let me get my dibs. We're collecting 157.49. Let me claim these. I'm claiming. I want them. Let me get them. Let me get them off of you right fast. Yes. Let me get them off of you real fast. Let me go ahead and claim my stronghold. I'm claiming you too. Let me get that up off you. Yeah. I ain't rolling. Let me withdraw. Let me get that. Let me get that there, buddy. Let me get that there, buddy. Yeah, let me get that right there, buddy. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swap this over. Uh, how many I'm going to swap? Uh, I'm going to swap 150 of them. 157. Point seven thirty eight. Let me go sell them real fast. Let me go sell them real fast, right? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got some more selling to do. Where you at? Don't you run from me. Nah, not going to happen. Not going to happen today. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Checking something out. Hold on. Gotta check something out. Mm -mm. Where you at? Let me get back to Stronghold. I know I do. I will do that shit. Where y'all at? Uh, moving slow. All right, well, well, I'll come back. I'll do that later, man. But I'm about to um take my BDL. I'm claiming you too. Let me snatch you up. Claim, claim, claim. Building up, I told y'all I was gonna build up my BUSD. I'm, I'm gonna roll this. I'm not um a BUSD. I'm rolling. I'm trying to build this up. I want to get way more than this. Uh, I want to get way more. I want to get about ten thousand um, in here. So what I'm gonna do, y'all? My network still trying to detect that. I don't understand what's going on with that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some more CNS, y'all. I'm gonna give me some more CNS. Yeah, I'm gonna come back at this shit. I ain't about to say all this right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my CNS real fast. I need about 30. I need about 30 more thousand and I have a hundred thousand CNS. And I'm up. And, and it's yeah, keep dropping. I want you to drop. Come on. Yeah, I got 79,000. I got 312. So Get me 13. That's 92. No, that ain't enough. Yeah. All right. Let me get these CNS up out of there. All right, I placed my order. It's pending. That's another 13,000 of these. Y'all, we got 79,000. I'm building my bag up. I'm going to build it up to, I don't know, I might, I don't know. I said 100,000. I might try to get 200,000 of these. Um. There we go. So now I got 92,000 of these CNS. Um, all right. So, family, I think that's about it. Um, I rolled this. Oh, yeah. Um, video. Oh, let me go. Pancake squat. No, nah, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. 14. Does it charge a fee every time you go to pancake swapping? Um, every time you swap it, it takes some um, damn. I could use um, damn pair the yield. See, this is the thing. You ain't gotta use um pancake swap. Oh, uh, you might have to. Yeah, damn, I do. And the uh, don't uh, have BDF. Yeah, so you gotta go to pancake swap. Pancake swap, the only one that have BDF. Um. I just swapped my BDO on my BUSD. Is it on chain network yet? All right, there it go. I can visit it. Or should switch up right here. That's the thing about um all right, so it just done it. I see it now. It just done it. 
All right, family. So, one matter of fact, since I have, I'm gonna show y'all one more thing, y'all. Aladdin's BFI. This is for those who stayed. <laughs> Damn. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to show y'all about this um, new um, DeFi program, but yeah, there's no need. There's no need. Damn, that price then. I'm glad I didn't jump in. This thing was like $30 yesterday. It's all the way down to $2. I'm glad I didn't jump in. I'll be pissed. All right, family. Um, I got my CNS. What oh, damn phone hold that? Oh, uh, this network still detected. Yeah, y'all trying to play with me. Y'all can get my goddamn stronghold. It don't take this long to damn detect. Where my shit at? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I know I didn't. Yo, I know I, I withdrew this shit. I just, all right, family. Um, I'm gonna look at this while I'm offline. Um, but look, I appreciate y'all watching the episode of Mass Crypto News. Hey, um, look forward to catching y'all on the next video. With that being said, peace. Love y'all. Why well, do?